This video will look at configuring lists and list category in Service Operations Workspace, and this is valid for any configurable workspace. Uh, so the what I want to do here is I, I'm in a Workspace, in Service Operations Workspace. I'm logged in as Bernard Leboy, who is an ITIL user, and here I have my uh, lists uh, navigator. And I want to add an additional list here with a, let's say at the top with the category uh, called incidents uh, P1. And uh, I wanna have one list under that uh, with just, um, let's say all, for just for the sake of this, we'll call it uh, where it lists all incidents that are uh, priority one. Um, okay, so before we go any further, uh, there is a wonderful article on the community, Ashley Schneider, uh, put together, and uh, this explains how to do this uh, in detail. Um, I'll put the link in the comments, or rather in the description. Um, okay, so we're back here, uh, logged in as Bernard, and we want to add this additional list. So let's go to the another screen, and where I'm logged in as admin, um, okay, so when I was first looking around for this, my first instinct was, well, let me go to uh, UI Builder because that's where uh, most workspace stuff is configured. So go into UI Builder. Wait for the experiences to load. And we'll go over to Service Operations Workspace. And this is in the list page. So we see our list page here. And here is the list nav component, which is this. And so I was looking around in here and hmm, not much going on that we can configure, but there are some very helpful links here. So uh, these are where the actual configuration happens. So first I'll click on the configuration link. And this brings me to the sys UX uh, list menu configurations. So I'm going to go into my uh, default uh, service operations workspace. OK, so now we're getting somewhere. So this is the UX list menu configuration. And here I can see the categories um, and the lists that are under those categories. So what I like to do is uh, make this a favorite uh, because you'll if, if you're doing this a lot, you're going back to it all the time, and it's annoying to have to go into UI Builder and find the link. I, I don't think there's a module for this. I looked around for it and couldn't find it. So uh, yeah, just go and create a favorite. That's what I tend to do. Uh, this way, you can go right from in here. And uh, now this brings me to the uh, SOW list menu configuration. OK, so first thing I want to do is configure a category. Uh, so the category is the sort of top level uh, item here, interactions, requests, catalog tasks, et cetera. So you can see this here, interactions, requests, catalog tasks, and they have a specific order. So let's do a new one. We'll call this uh, incidents to learn how to type. P1. Now, of course, in the real world, you probably wouldn't create the, the categories tend to be tables. Uh, if you look at this, you know, each one of these is a table, incident, interactions, problems. So uh, and so really to do, you know, if I want to look at P1 incidents, I would just really create another list under incidents uh, in the real world. But uh, we're just doing this for, for demo purposes. But you know, best practices would probably be to not put uh, uh, you know, the same table in different categories, uh, unless you had a use case for that. Uh, OK, so incident is P1. And uh, we'll make this, we'll put this right at the top. So we'll put it as uh, order 0. OK, so now that shows up there. Now, interestingly, if I go into uh, Workspace and I say, well, let me, let me go look at that and see See what see my wonderful work. Oops, Let me refresh here because I had a previous test. Uh, 
yeah, this is another thing that when you are uh, doing these configurations, sometimes it will uh, get a little testy when you are refreshing. Yeah, and you have to do it a few times, I found. Um, okay, so uh, we're up here and we don't see our new category. Uh, so this is normal. Uh, you won't see a category until there are lists under that category. So let's go back to our configuration, uh, our incidents P1. So now let's create a new list. Now you can do this uh, right inside the list category. You can do new. Uh, and that'll fill that in right for you, but uh, you can also do it here. Okay, so new, and we want to call this uh, all. And um, going to give you a little trick here, uh, and this will be helpful later on, we'll see. I'm just going to put a dash there so I know that because there are many lists called all and I want to be able to distinguish this one later on. So just for now, we're going to put this dash there. So the category is the category we just created, incidents P1. And our table is, of course, uh, incidents. And our condition will be, uh, will be uh, what is it, priority P1? Yeah, critical. And we choose our columns here, so we'll have a number, a short description, and uh, how about uh, created? Okay, no group buys, and there are a million options down here, most of which are hiding things, so usually the defaults are, are fine. We'll submit that. Oops, we have to put an order. So this order is the order inside of the category not the entire list. The um, categories have their own order, which determines where they fall um, at the category level. And then inside the categories, uh, the lists have their own order. So this is the, the lowest order and uh, the second lowest, and this is the highest order inside of Okay, so uh, our order is going to be, uh, let's just make that, oh, here, let's make it 10, so that we can always go back and add a 5 or a, <laughs> or a 1 through 9 later on. Uh, we'll submit that. Okay, so now we have our um, category and our list. We'll go back to workspace and take a look at our handiwork. Refresh. Uh, incidents P1 all. We can see that. Great. However, we are a system admin. Let's go back to Bernard and see what's going on with him. So he refreshes and not seeing anything. Refresh again just for to be sure. Not seeing anything. So the second step to this is um, M to M applicabilities, is uh, applying this list to an audience. Um, so to do that, we can go back to our um, UI builder. And this is the second link here, uh, applicability. So if I click on this, this actually brings me to audiences. Uh, and there is a module for this in the back end. If we go uh, audience. Uh, we can see now experience framework building blocks audiences, which is this is the exact same uh, list. Uh, so an audience is a um, sort of like a group. Let's go into one that uh, we're going to apply. So uh, SOW uh, ITIL audience. That's a good one. So this uh, SOW ITIL audience has the roles ITIL in it. Um, so this will um, apply to anybody with the ITIL role. Now you can also add user criteria inclusions and exclusions. Uh, I've messed around with this a bit and ran into some difficulties, so I'm not exactly sure uh, how or if it works, um, but it is here, so uh, that's something to be explored. Uh, but for now, I usually stick to the roles, and uh, so this audience applies to the ITIL role. 
So let's go ahead and uh, show this or display this, our new list to, the, uh, to this audience. So for that, we have to go, we go back to UI Builder and we go to the third link, M2M applicability. Uh, this is another good thing to uh, create a favorite for because you'll be going back to it uh, quite a bit. And so here we have all of the uh, lists along with their the category that they're in and the and the audiences that they apply to. So uh, let's go fill in a new one. And first thing we do is find the list. So here is where our all dash comes in handy. Um, when you're in here, out of the box, uh, they only give you the title field. And uh, so, you know, a couple of things you can do to, uh, well, first of all, I mean, what I would, what my first instinct was is, okay, well, let me configure this list layout and uh, add some other ones. However, this reference list is in this very strange uh, scope uh, that, uh, and cannot be edited because it's in this scope. Um, whoops, what happened there? So, oh, I, I clicked on the, uh, I clicked on the scope. So, um, you can go into the back end and m mess around with it to get the list, uh, config correct to get to additional columns. Uh, in the meantime, well, first of all, because we named our, list all dash so we can find it here that's that's one trick that's why we did that another way would be to use the uh, filter here and you can look for the category so the category is uh, what do we call that incident um, maybe we should just do contains contains incident yeah here we go incident uh, p1 and that'll also bring our all up. Um, if you're in here all the time, I find it, uh, I'll, I'll make another video on how to go into the back end and add additional columns in here so you can see the category and uh, maybe the application or you know, some other things that'll be useful. So, okay, we select our all list and then we need to apply it to an audience. So this is just the list of audiences and we said we want to do SOW ITIL audience. We submit, and that should be it. So let's go back to Bernard, and we'll do a refresh. And here he is, incidents P1, and oh, there are actually some uh, some P1 incidents in there. So that is how you add additional uh, list categories and uh, lists in Service Operations Workspace or uh, any configurable workspace.